Yes, Gawa. <laughs> This video shows how to configure an Allen Bradley PLC to communicate with a Yaskawa Sigma Logic servo. Here's a quick preview. First, configure the Ethernet IP instance. Second, import Yaskawa's AOIs to the project. And third, put the MCFG AOI on the top rung. This is the second video in the Quick Start series. The Sigma Logic servo has already been configured and motion has been tested. The Sigma Logic servo axis is connected to a PC and PLC through an Ethernet switch. Now the PLC must be configured in RS Logix to connect over Ethernet IP to the Sigma Logic. For this demonstration, I'm using RS Logix version 20. In the RS Logix software environment, Yaskawa claims expertise only in the functionality of our AOIs and in configuration of the Ethernet IP connection to Sigma Logic. This is not training on RS Logix or application programming. All RS Logix programming and networking questions should be directed to Rockwell. My controller type is the Allen Bradley Compact Logix L32E with an IP address of 192.168.1.10. Both the PLC and Sigma Logic have IP addresses on the same subnet. I have a new project and am not online with the PLC. The first step is to configure the Ethernet IP instance. In the controller organizer, go down to IO configuration and choose Ethernet. Right click for new module and choose Ethernet module, generic Ethernet module, then create. I will name it Sigma Logic underscore one, a Yaskawa Sigma Logic Ethernet IP servo. The IP address of the Sigma Logic was configured in Logic Works as the default 192.168.1.1. Now for the Ethernet IP details specific to Sigma Logic. Under connection parameters, the input assembly instance is 102 and size 64. The output assembly instance is 112 and also size 64. Configuration assembly is set to 1 and 1. Click OK and the module appears in the I.O. configuration tree as Ethernet Module Sigma Logic 1. Open its properties and in the connection tab, be sure that Unicast is checked. Set the requested packet interval. RPI to 12 because Sigma Logic internally updates its Ethernet IP data every 12 milliseconds. Click OK and step one, configuring the Ethernet IP instance is complete. Step two is to import Yaskawa's add-on instructions. The latest AOI can be downloaded from yaskawa.com slash Sigma Logic, then extract the compressed file. In the controller organizer, right click add-on instruction and import. Then navigate to the directory where you extracted the AOI. The most critical and only required AOI is MCFG underscore Yaskawa. Select and import it. The import configuration displays details about the AOI. Click OK to complete the import. The add-on instruction then appears in the controller organizer tree. Follow the same process to import the remaining Yaskawa AOIs. And step two, importing Yaskawa's AOIs is complete. Step three is to use the MCFG underscore Yaskawa add-on instruction at the top rung of the program. I'll program in the main routine in this example. MCFG is found under the add-on tab. MCFG underscore Yaskawa passes data between the PLC and the Sigma Logic servo. This AOI is placed directly on the top rung of the motion program. The input parameters of the AOI must now be defined. Right click or F1 for help on any AOI describes the input parameter function. The top field of an AOI is a tag for an instance in memory for the AOI to run. Enter tag. I'll name it MCFG underscore one. Access in and access out logically connect MCFG to the Ethernet IP IO configuration created as Sigma Logic one. 
double click axis in and pull down to select Sigma Logic 1, I for inputs and double click to select. For axis out, double click and pull down for Sigma Logic underscore 1, O for outputs. Axis is a descriptive logical axis name to be used in all of the other AOI that control this axis. Create a tag Yaskawa servo underscore one. Notice the data type defaults to Yaskawa underscore EIP underscore servo. This data type contains a comprehensive set of information about the axis. Parameter resolution sets a number of recognized decimal places for all positions and speeds. A typical setting is three digits of resolution. Feed rate override is a master speed percentage scale factor. For now, we'll set this to 100%. The inward pointing arrow indicates that the remaining data below are feedback to the AOI. Download this to the controller. When everything is working, the HB heartbeat output flashes on and off in the MCFG block. The heartbeat confirms communication between the PLC and Sigma logic. Any motion of the axis is reflected in position and speed feedback. This connection process can be repeated for each additional Sigma logic axis. With the connection established, motion programming can begin. Please look for our e-learning videos showing basic motion control, homing, and using the sequence table with Sigma logic. Thanks for watching this video, and remember yaskawa.com slash sigmalogic for videos, documents, software, firmware, AOIs, and more.